Midwest Picker on YouTube. Yeah, baby. Hey, welcome to the Midwest Picker YouTube channel. Man, it's been a long time since I made a what sold on eBay video. I haven't made one of those videos since May 7th. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm only going to show you the home runs. I've sold a ton of merchandise since May 7th, but I'm going to show you the really cool stuff. Just the big home runs. I don't want to bore you with the little stuff. Before I get into it, I've had a request to do a how to buy or flip items from the website Hybid. So really quick, less than two minutes, I'm going to explain that because a lot of the things I sold that were home runs, I sourced from Hybid. So Hybid is just a website, just like it sounds, H-I-B-I-D.com. It's a website similar to eBay, but different. All the sellers are actual auction houses. They list items for sale, kind of like eBay, but basically I'm going to show you a screenshot of the landing page and basically you register and you look for items that you want to bid on. Now this is an auction just because it's online doesn't mean it's not real. If It's no different than an in-person auction. So if you bid, that means you're willing to pay if you win. So don't bid if you're not willing to pay. That's a general rule for auctions. So once you're registered on this home page here, you can search for any item you want, either by the item or the, by the location. So you can search for the item, but if you do that, it's going to be any auction house across the country. And if you win, you're going to have to pay shipping. The other option is just to search local auction houses near you by putting your zip code in. And what I do right here is I put in my zip code, put a range of 50 miles, put whatever you're willing to drive and then hit search. It will show you entire auctions within that 50 mile radius of where you live and then you go through and you search the items that you want throw a bid on there there's usually a minimum bid um, and then you just look for items that you think are interesting and that you'd be willing to bid on and you could do very well and if you do this search option and you win no big deal you just go there in person pick up the item yourself and no shipping charges and that's what i do i don't search by item i search by locations near me and i just go pick it up myself so let's get right into it this very first item is george magazine i source this from a flea market for 25 cents my eyes bugged out of my head when i saw this it was in a pile of other magazines just miscellaneous ones i asked are you sure this one's 25 cents and he said yep so i bought it and if you didn't know george magazine is highly prized and collected it was last published in 2001 and people just can't get enough of it they're very hard to find I listed it for $74 about six months ago. I put it on sale 15% off for $63.71 and it sold plus priority mail shipping on top. I was thrilled. I boxed this sucker up. I bagged and boarded the magazine, put it in a 9x12 padded mailer, and then put that in a side mount Region A priority mail box, which now is dimensions and weight they don't do region A anymore but this thing was triple packed i mean if someone's going to pay that much money for a single magazine i'm going to treat them right this next item i really wanted to keep it but you can't keep everything cool i mean you don't you can't even see everything in this office i keep a lot of stuff um i could show you yeah i'll just i'll put a clip right here So yeah, I do keep some cool stuff, but this is a 19th century puzzle. It's like, I don't know, fiberboard, not really cardboard. It's hard to explain. Kind of puzzle material, but twice as thick. These are very hard to find in this condition. Uh, I won this on high bid for $13.92. It was part of a lot of stuff. I listed it for $89.95. And it took about a year. Um, I got a best offer of $65 plus shipping and handling on top. So I took it. Man, I would have loved to frame this thing up and stick it on the wall, but you just can't do it. I had to sell it. This item is an example of why you should tell everybody you're a reseller, your friends, your family, your neighbors. You wouldn't believe how many times people just give me stuff for free because they don't want to deal with the garage sales. They don't want to drive all the way to the thrift store to donate it. They just hand it to me and say, here, take this, go sell it on eBay. 
So these are really cool salad plates. I did my research to figure out the brand and what the sold comps are. Listed them for $14.95 a piece. And then I did a volume discount. If you bought two, you got 10% off. If you bought three or more, 15% off. You kind of get the idea. One buyer bought seven of them for $104 plus shipping on top. Boom. I couldn't believe it. I was thrilled. Free into a hundred bucks. I'll do that every day of the week. The next item is a vintage movie poster. If you've seen my previous What Sold on eBay videos, I sell these all the time. I bought over 60 of these from Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot for four bucks a piece. I listed this one for $49.95 and I don't know, after about a year, year and a half, I put it on sale 15% off. It sold for $42.46. I was thrilled. This next item, I can't believe I won it. I won it for $4 on high bid. This is a vintage first aid kit from Bell Telephone with all the contents. Now I've seen these steel or metal boxes empty before, but this had everything in there. This had all the contents. Nobody else bid and I won it. Now I have to admit when I picked it up and brought it home, it did kind of smell, but you know, it's vintage, so who cares? But this is a commercial grade Bell Telephone first aid kit. This is super cool. So I got a little aggressive, listed it for $49.95 plus shipping on top. After about two months, I took a best offer of $35 gone out the door. Next is a Kirby vacuum accessory. This is a carpet shampooer. Again on high bid. I won not only this accessory and a sander, if you can believe that, you hook it up to the vacuum. I also won the entire vacuum cleaner, the vacuum, the accessories, the hoses, everything, and it works for four bucks on high bid. Cost of goods for this, I can't talk, cost of goods for this accessory $1.67. So I listed it for $39.95 plus shipping on top. And the buyer paid full price. And that's interesting because people ask me, Dave, do you put best offer on any of your items? I have over 700 items in my eBay store. Every single one has best offer turned on. This item, same thing, best offer turned on. The guy paid full price. I think I only send offers and receive offers about 60% of the time. The rest, the other 40%, people just pay the full price. Next is a vintage roll of priority mail tape. Yes, you heard me right. I got this for free from the good old post office website back in 1999. This is vintagey. People do collect vintage tape, whether it's eBay tape, UPS tape, post office tape. It don't matter. So there's people collect everything, everything, dirty socks. I don't care what it is. This is just tape, but I found two rolls that I never used cleaning out the closet and they're both from 1997. One was mostly full one was about 80 percent full did a search on ebay oh yeah yeah people pay for that stuff they like it and they collect it i listed it for 25.95 plus shipping on top i took a best offer of 19.95 gone this last item is a u.s navy button i think it's a coat button again i sourced it from high bid i won this huge collection of military buttons a pile of them for four or six bucks i can't even remember how many there were cost of goods for this single button was 20 cents so i researched the biggest buttons and looked on sold comps and did all my research on them and i sold the rest of them the little tiny like cuff buttons and shirt buttons i just put it in a pile and sold them all. That was in a previous video, I think $100 I got for that. But the big coat buttons I have listed individually. I listed this for $49.95 and I took a best offer of 40 bucks. Again, thank you high bid for that. So here are the grand totals. Cost of goods total, $24.04. Total sales, $306. Whoa, that is pretty good. $24 into 30. $24 into $306, that's gross sales, that's not pure net profit, but you get the idea. That's not a bad turnaround at all. That's a good investment there. And most of these sales, a lot of these sales and previous past sales were high bid. Just go on there and bid. Now you do have to pay an auction premium. I can't remember what it is. It's a percentage like 12% or 10% plus sales tax. So, I mean, if you win something for a hundred bucks, you're going to be paying auction premium sales tax if you want something for four dollars i mean you're going to walk out of there four dollars and sixty cents easily not a big deal but just know that there is an auction premium when you win stuff the other downside to high bid is that you're not there if you're at a physical auction in person with your little card you know and you do the little actions 
you can get there early and preview all this stuff. You can touch it, you can smell it, you can inspect it and check it out. This is a little risky because there's lots of photos, but there is sometimes hidden damage. Like there's a vase up there you can't see, I don't think. It's got a big chip in it. And it was in the photo, but it was not in the description. So it is a bit of a gamble if you can't see it ahead of time. So you have to be very careful. Don't get auction fever and don't overbid on anything. So I think I did pretty good with these home runs. Thanks again for watching. I greatly appreciate it. It's been a while since I made a video. I'm doing metal detecting videos, eBay videos, bouncing back and forth. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm making more videos as fast as I can. If there's any topic you want to see, put it down in the comments. How does shipping work? Um, promoted listings, yes or no? What's the best uh, printer? I got a thermal printer back here. What kind do I use? Why do I use it? Things like that. I'd love to answer questions. I might even make a whole video on it. That's it, guys. Until next time, see ya. Midwest Picker on YouTube. Yeah, baby.